What do you think specifically Governor Walls is bringing to the ticket? Because if you look at just the numbers here with the top three finalists, he's from Minnesota. Minnesota is a blue state. He also had the least amount of electoral votes, Minnesota, from Pennsylvania's Governor Josh Shapiro, as well as uh, Arizona's Senator Mark Kelly. And both of those states are more battleground. So what is he bringing that you think those candidates didn't? Well, I think it's a mistake to evaluate vice presidential nominees purely through the lens of an individual state. I think electoral dynamics is more complicated than that. It's really about the whole ticket. It's about who uh, the vice president feels comfortable with on her ticket, who uh, she feels like she has, uh, as Joe Biden said about Kamala, simpatico with in terms of policy priorities and, and as a governing partner. It's really a personal decision, as well as a decision that she explains to the American public as this individual is ready on day one. Uh, and she didn't have a bad choice to make. I mean, whether we're talking about Shapiro or Buttigieg or Walls or Kelly or Ramundo, the Democratic Party has a deep bench of talent. You contrast that with Donald Trump's pick for vice president, J.D. Vance, uh, and uh, it's clear that our talent in this party far outpaces the MAGA talent because J.D. Vance to date has insulted 46 million American women. He has insulted the police and he's, now he's insulting veterans. So uh, he can't take his foot out of his mouth, whereas uh, Tim Walls uh, is out there talking about the, um, the American uh, vision for a future that works for everybody. To your point, Senator J.D. Vance also insulted uh, Governor Tim Walz's military service, went so far as to call it stolen valor. You are a Marine. What do you make of the arguments that Governor Walz inflated his military service? That attack from J.D. Vance is a despicable and desperate smear job. They're trying to resurrect the 20, uh, the 2004, excuse me, Swift Boat Veterans for Truth campaign against John Kerry. And indeed, it's the same individual, Chris Lasavita, who is now Trump's campaign manager, who ran that 2004 smear job against John Kerry. Uh, same despicable playbook, same individual. And it's really just of a theme of Donald Trump's attacks against veterans throughout his entire career. He attacked Gold Star families. He called veterans suckers and losers. He refused to march in a parade with wounded veterans because he thought that they looked bad around him. This is someone who has no sense of service to anybody other than himself. This is somebody who has no respect for the sacrifice of veterans. And so it's no surprise that he is now attacking a veteran uh, in this campaign.